Welcome back, guys. Today's video is going to be all about the tasty foods that we got to eat for five straight days in Italy. We had home cooked food. We tried a couple of new restaurants. We tried a couple of new delis that had amazing deli sandwiches and coffee. We hit some of the best sweet shops that I've ever seen. We ate plenty of gelato. We loaded up on chocolate covered goodies. Let's get into it. Okay, so after traveling for almost 24 hours, we were tired and ready to eat some real food. Airplane food is fun for a while, but after a while, it just doesn't cut it anymore. So anyway, Anne's parents live in Italy. Their house is about a 40 minute drive north of Rome, and they picked us up and they cooked us some home cooked food when we got there, which was so nice. So Anne and her mom are both really good cooks. I mean, Anne is, her mom's okay, I guess, whatever. Hello, Sunil. Hello. You're gonna be famous. <laughs> Pudding comes for dessert. <laughs> so after we ate, Grandma and Grandpa got to see us on YouTube for the very first time. And they got a kick out of it. Okay, so after a good night's sleep, got up, had a cup of coffee and a pastry, and for lunch, Grandpa picked us up some of these rice balls. These are deep fried battered rice balls with mozzarella in the middle and they were really good. And to go with it, we had a little homemade pasta. Okay, we have a little after lunch pineapple. They recommended that you try one with some salt and pepper, so I'm gonna try it. I, I usually don't put salt and pepper on my pineapple, but we'll try it. One of each. <laughs> okay, that's good. I don't wanna to put too much in the fork. Let me okay, take this one, let's steal this one. Okay, let's try the salt and pepper pineapple. See how this goes. It's good. You can't really taste the salt and pepper. It just kind of mixes, mixes pretty well with the taste of the pineapple. It's good actually. Hmm. I didn't think it would be good, but okay. Let me see. Try regular now. I haven't had pineapple in a while. I love pineapple though. Yeah, I like regular. <laughs> Salt and pepper's pretty good though. It's not bad, nothing wrong with it, but I just like it. Just all natural. I love pineapple. Doesn't need nothing. Later that afternoon, this crazy rainstorm just kind of came out of nowhere. Alrighty, our first day in Italy, and this is what we get. Ha <laughs> ha. It's okay. It's kind of cool, actually. So we headed into Rome, and we decided to just go for a walk and just explore for a while. Okay, so for us American guys, it's not cool to like scooters. It's cool to like real motorcycles. It's cool to like Harley Davidson. But in Italy, everybody rides scooters. And as far as scooters go, these were pretty sweet. They had a nice Aprilla. And then they got this scooter right here. I thought this thing was just a work of art. This thing was beautiful. I would not buy a pastel green scooter for myself, but maybe for a woman, that was really nice. Okay, now one of these on the other hand. And as far as scooters go, those are cool. So 
Italy has the best sweet shops I've ever seen. We do not have sweet shops like this where I live. They just have everything. Cakes, pies, pastries, gourmet chocolates, gelato, everything. Hi! How you doing? Yes. <laughs> okay, time to stop looking at treats and time to go eat some treats. This gelato shop is a spot that my wife knows well. She grew up in Rome. She lived there until she was about 16. And this is the gelato shop that she used to go to when she was little. And now she's showing it to me. I was impressed. They had chocolate covered everything. We bought about 10 of these to take back to the house. Time to head back. Okay, so the next afternoon we head down to this deli. This deli is only about two miles from our property, and I'm really glad I can say that because this is one of the nicest delis that I've seen in Italy. I love this place. If I lived up here, I would probably be here five days a week. I got this tomato basil mozzarella sandwich on this seasoned garlic bread and it was toasted and it was so good. It was one of the best sandwiches I had in Italy. I love this spot. And the coffee is always good. I've never had a bad cup of coffee in Italy. Everywhere you go they have these professional like cappuccino espresso machines that just make it perfect every time. And I've never had a bad cup of coffee in Italy. Though so we left the deli and headed back to the center of Rome, we wanted to see the sights, especially the Pantheon. And after we got a chance to see the Pantheon, we decided to give this spot a try. This place is called the Matter. And as you're standing in front of the Pantheon, you turn around and it's right there. And I like this spot because they had ribs on the menu and that sounded really good to me at the time. But Anne thought that this spot was gonna be kind of an Americanized restaurant and that they weren't really gonna have good Italian food here. So we decided to keep walking and we checked out a few more spots, but we really didn't see anything that we were really impressed with. So we thought, okay, let's just go eat here. But it turned out that she was right. Do not tell her I said that. Um, the food here was not good. Um, we sat down, we ordered a couple of drinks and a couple little appetizers. And they were okay, I mean, they weren't bad, 
It's fried food, so it is what it is. But the main dish was not good. Anne got pasta. She ate about half of it, and that's it. It wasn't very good. I got the ribs. They had a funny taste. Um, they were not very good, but I was hungry, so I just ate them. Um, and then the fries. I asked for a little ketchup. The ketchup was really weird tasting. I ate about three fries, and I was done. Even the fries were not good at all. And, uh, yeah, this place sucks. Okay, so our last night in Italy, we were flying out the next morning, and I wanted to stop and have some Italian gelato one last time. I felt like I really didn't have enough gelato while I was there, so I felt like I should have some more. So here we are. I mean, there's gelato shops just everywhere in Italy, so I mean, you can always find one pretty much no matter where you are. And another nice one just a couple miles away from our house. Got some cherry cheesecake. We got a scoop of cherry cheesecake. I don't know what it is. Whenever I'm in Italy, I always get cherry cheesecake. This one is good. This is really good. Just a couple miles away from home. Ending off the day with some gelato. And look at these views. Pretty awesome. Everywhere you go, there's an amazing view in Italy. Okay, so we're on our way back to the house to pack up. We were flying out the next morning. We were gonna have to deal with airports and airplanes for another 20 hours at least. So excited for that. Catching one last sunset here. And some baby sheeps. We have this huge sheep farm right next to our property. And I was surprised to see that there was just so many baby sheep there. It was like one out of three was a baby. Guys, if you're still watching, thank you. We're trying to get this channel going. If you don't mind, subscribe, turn on the bell and hit the like. Thanks again. Hope you liked the video.